Um, hi, I'm Chris Gregg. I'm a teacher here at the biology department and um, over the years I've had the good fortune of working with uh, my good colleagues here in the science program and the biology department specifically and we're always really excited to try new kinds of pedagogy and over the years working here we've invested a lot in our lab space and the equipment to allow our students to really try um, some interesting experiments and, and do some cool stuff in the lab. So. Uh, Come and join me and I'll show you what we, what we got. If you're a student in the science program, you're definitely going to spend a lot of time in this lab here. This is our General Biology 1 lab, okay? So this is your Intro Biology class that all science students have to take. And the theme in Bio 1 is really biodiversity. It sounds kind of corny, but living things are all connected. You've probably heard scientists say that we share a common ancestor with chimpanzees. Well, that's a, kind of an understatement. We share a common ancestor with all vertebrates and insects and plants. So we're gonna learn about all of those things in this lab. And what's interesting about that is because we're all related, we all use the same kind of parts, the same molecules. We're all made up of cells. You guys have heard of DNA. Okay, so we're going to answer questions like, um, why are certain diseases inheritable? Why do you look like your parents? Why do animals give offspring that look kind of like them? Well, that's all because of genetics. That's all because of the DNA that's being passed from one organism to another. Um, and these are some of the main themes that we will be studying in General Biology 1, along with evolution um, and uh, some biochemistry as well. So this lab uh, is kind of near and dear to my heart because this is where we do the stuff that I did when I was studying in university, namely anything having to do with microbiology or molecular biology and the manipulation of DNA. So again, when I started working here, uh, the coordinator at the time was really invested in getting equipment to allow students to do some of these cool projects. Uh, like this machine here, this is a PCR machine. This is used to amplify DNA. This is actually a real-time PCR machine. If you're in biology, you know that's kind of a weird flex. It's unusual to have that here in a SAGEP and uh, lots of other devices, uh, centrifuges and things like that for uh, doing microbiology, namely pelleting cells and uh, being able to culture them. This is a Petri dish with some um, yeast that have been genetically engineered on it. These yeast have been engineered to express a fluorescent protein. So you can see it here. We don't have a fluorescent microscope here, but uh, we've, we've taken field trips with some of our students to uh, look at these engineered cells and verify whether or not some of our experiments have worked. So we can see that here as these little green circles inside the cells. Um, what we see here is what we call an agarose gel. Okay, and we use this as another way of verifying whether or not our experiment works. So we could use our PCR machine, also called a thermocycler. PCR stands for polymerase chain reaction. And it's a machine that carries out the chemical reaction that allows us to amplify DNA. It allows our fragments to be visualized and they will migrate through this gel according to their size. And we can verify whether or not we have a gene of a particular size by comparing it to this molecular ladder that we have here on the left. So projects like that can be done either as extracurricular volunteer work or as a course credit uh, for a research methods course, for example. And um, yeah, again, uh, it's, it's really because of some of the investments that we've made here that allow us to do courses like that. So um, other things that you would study in your second biology class in this particular lab, anything having to do with your metabolism. In other words, the chemical reactions that actually take place in your body. I'm here leading on the mitochondria. We call this the powerhouse of the cell. This is the part of the cell that's gonna take all the stuff you eat and turn it into energy that you could use um, to move around. Uh, we learn a little bit about physiology, about your immune system, um, and various other parts of the, the human body. So again, if you're a health science student, you, you'll definitely be taking that course and uh, if you're just interested in biology it's certainly a very interesting course to take. So um, this is our third lab. We do most of our anatomy and physiology in here so if it looks a little bit spooky uh, it's supposed to. This is how we learn about all the stuff that makes your body work, uh, the organs and bones uh, that are found inside of you. 
Um, and this lab is used mostly for a lot of our service courses, for example, for nursing and respiratory tech. But if you're a science student, you do have the option of taking um, one of several option courses like our human physiology course um, or even um, our biophysics course, which does look at the anatomy and physiology. So there's a lot of potential for you to work in here and, of course, for um, different extracurricular projects, you might find yourself doing some work in here as well. So it's been a pleasure showing you around our labs. Uh, hope, uh, hope you were as impressed as I was when I started working here. Uh, maybe you're inspired to do a cool science project here at Vanier College. So if you do end up studying here, maybe I'll see you soon.